Today, we are going to talk about the Android computing capability of the MPU-5. Did you know that the MPU-5 is also a computer system that can run third-party applications? The MPU-5 runs Android as its operating system. This means that the MPU-5 can load and run third-party Android applications. Users often run the ATAC Situational Awareness Tool, which comes preloaded on every MPU-5. But you can also run apps to control unmanned systems, the Signal app to make phone calls, or pretty much any third-party Android app. Today, we are going to talk about how you access the MPU-5's Android environment and get the most out of your systems. Normally, when you think about soldiers running ATAC or situational awareness apps, you think of a phone on the user's chest connected to a radio system. When the MPU-5 runs Android, it combines these two systems into one, behaving like a computer and performing computing functions with or without a display. First, we will connect a Cable Data 3002 cable which provides HDMI and USB connectivity to the MPU-5. Next, we are going to plug an HDMI cable into our TV so that the MPU-5's Android operating system will appear on the screen. Now, we see the Android desktop on our television screen. That's the Android environment of the MPU-5. We can also touch the TV screen to navigate around the Android environment. Bringing ATAC onto a big screen TV makes a lot of sense in an operations center where there is multiple large screen TVs. I could connect multiple MPU-5s to the various TVs and use one for my ATAC situational awareness view of the map. I could also run ATAC on a second TV to operate TACChat with users from the large screen. If I was running TACChat, I would want to use a mouse and keyboard to type quickly. To demonstrate, I will connect a mouse and keyboard via USB to the MPU-5. You will see a cursor appear in TAC, and I can type chat messages from the keyboard. In an operations center, I would also want to monitor ISR video feeds on the big screen. To accomplish that, I will plug in a third MPU-5. On that MPU-5, I will utilize the video kiosk, which comes with every MPU-5 to automatically discover video feeds and display them on the TV. The MPU-5 listens for cursor on target advertisements and then allows users to flip through the feeds available on the network. I can do that on this touchscreen TV by just flipping through the videos. To summarize what we've done so far, we used three different MPU-5s as Android computers to run ATAC, TACChat, and a video kiosk. This allows us to quickly establish an operation center with just a few TVs. We don't need racks of computers and tons of cabling to get this all up and running. This is the power of having an Android computing environment built into your MPU-5. So far, we've talked about using MPU-5s with big TVs in an operation center. However, the MPU-5 is primarily designed to empower the dismounted tactical warfighter. To access the Android environment as a dismounted user, you simply connect a rugged display and controller, or RDC, to your dual push-to-talk device. The RDC is extremely similar to the touchscreen displays we were using earlier. The RDC is just a wearable TV screen with multi-touch capabilities. When we connect the RDC, the Android environment appears on the screen. Remember, the RDC is not a computer. It's just a TV screen. The MPU-5 is still the Android computer. Just like we talked about earlier, we can run ATAC or our video kiosk here on the RDC. To make this more interesting, we are going to load the Spot Control application from Boston Dynamics on our MPU-5. Then, from our RDC, we can run the app and drive Spot around our NYC office. We can load the Spot app by connecting a USB stick to our MPU-5 and installing the APK. 
We can also use our laptop to install it via the MPU5's web management interface. We can use the web management interface to install the Spot app on every MPU5 in our network at once. That's the fastest way to get everyone up and running when you have a lot of users. When we launch the app, it will find Spot on our network, and we can start taking control. Boston Dynamics designed their app to work with USB gamepad controllers, like the Logitech controller you might utilize for computer gaming. The RDC has multiple joysticks, ABXY buttons, and rocker switches, just like a typical Logitech controller. When the RDC is connected to your MPU5, the MPU5 detects that it has a gamepad device connected. This enables the joysticks to work with any Android application that accepts gamepad inputs automatically. Now, by moving our joystick around, we can begin driving Spot around our office and see the live feed from Spot's cameras. It's really that simple. With 128 gigabytes of storage space built into every MPU5, you could load a lot of apps, store a lot of map data, and really make use of the computer system. Now that you've seen all that the MPU5 can do with computing, you can leverage your MPU5 in many different situations. In an operations center, on a dismounted soldier, or while using your favorite apps. Let's get computing. If you have any questions about the Android computing capability, please comment below. Also, reach out to our team if you want information about the cables we use or if you are building MPU5 Android apps.